Welcome everyone to Friday Night Young at Heart. I'm Father James DeLucio with the Paulist Fathers. This is session number nine, and I am ready, willing, and able to offer you nursery rhymes, stories, songs, poems, Mother Goose, Aesop's fables, Lewis Carroll, limericks, larks, Hans Christian Andersen, and such to keep us all young at heart. Today's selection is another story by Hans Christian Andersen, this one quite short, contained in one segment. You will be so pleased. And it's probably a story you know. It's the story of the princess and the pea. Now, there were many variations on this theme and on this story, but this is Hans Christian Andersen's. Have I made myself clear? There lived once upon a time a prince, and he wished to marry a princess. But then she must be really and truly a princess. So he traveled the whole world to find one. But there was always something or other to prevent him being successful. Princesses he found in plenty, but he never could make out if they were real princesses, for sometimes one thing and sometimes another appeared to him to be not quite right about any of them. So at last he returned home, quite downcast. He wanted so very much to marry a real princess and to have a real princess for his wife. One evening, a dreadful storm was gathering. It thundered, it lightninged, and the rain poured down from heaven in torrents. It was, too, as dark as pitch. Suddenly, a loud knocking was heard at the town gate, and the old king, the prince's father, went out himself to see who was there. It was a princess that stood at the gate, but, Lord, bless me, what a figure she was from the rain. The water ran down from her hair. Her dress was dripping wet and stuck quite closely to her body. She said she was a real princess. We'll soon see about that thought the old queen, a queen dowager, no less. However, she said not a word, but she went into the bedroom, took out all the bedding, and laid three, three, did you get that? Three small peas on the bottom of the bedstead. Then she took first twenty mattresses and laid them one upon the other on the three peas. And then she took twenty feather beds. And then she put these on top of the mattresses, which were on top of the three peas. This was the bed for the princess to sleep in. The next morning, she asked if the princess had had a good night. Oh, no, a horrid night, replied the poor princess, for I was hardly able to close my eyes the whole night. Heaven knows what was in my bed, but there was something hard under me, and my whole body is black and blue with bruises. 
I can't tell you what I suffered. Then they knew that the lady was indeed a real princess, since she had felt the three small peas through twenty mattresses and twenty feather beds, for it was quite impossible for anyone but a true princess to be so tender. So the prince married her, for he was now convinced that he would have a real princess for his wife. The three peas were deposited at the museum, where they are still to be seen, that is to say, if they have not been lost. Now, was that not a lady of exquisite feeling? And does not that make for a real princess? Well, what about you princesses out there? Are you ladies of exquisite feeling? And what of you princes out there? Have you found the true princess for your wife? Be careful when you answer that question. Thank you so much for joining me. I had a lot of fun recreating the princess and the pea. And I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful weekend. God bless.